Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we've got a bit of a contest slash challenge slash event to talk about for Unreal Engine developers. Now, if you've ever wanted to learn blueprint development, now might be the right time, especially if you like swag. And who doesn't like swag? I love swag. I'm actually kind of tempted just to get the swag. And what they're running right now is something called the Blueprint Master Program. So uh, become a Blueprint Master by taking this online challenge. And the challenge isn't really a challenge per se. It's a series of courses. So uh, ready to evolve your game development skill, love exclusive prizes, you're in love from AI enemies, particle effects, to full menu systems for saving progress. If you want to create something in Unreal Engine, you'll likely be using Blueprint Visual Scripting Engine. Sign up for the Blueprint Ninja Challenge today, and you'll not only learn to deploy Unreal Engine blueprints like a plow, like a plow, like a plow, like a pro, you'll also learn earn exclusive badges. Don't worry, you can get more than badges. Uh, Damn badges. Uh, every time you complete courses along the way, just remember to act quickly. If you take advantage of the challenge, you only have three weeks to complete enough blueprint courses to go from journeyman to master and then win a mystery box of Unreal Engine swag. What you're probably talking about here is like uh, maybe water bottles, t-shirts, that kind of stuff. I have no idea. It's a mystery box after all. Although we do have an idea of the value of it. And to be honest, it's higher than I expected. Now, if you do not want Unreal Engine having uh, access to your personal information, you're not going to want to sign up for this one because you actually have to give them your contact details because they are going to physically mail the swag out to you. Uh, you have to create an online, an Unreal online learning account. Um, and then there's a couple of key things here. You'll be notified by email when it starts. So do not do these courses before October the 13th. Also, somewhat interesting, some of these courses were featured in a previous Unreal Jam. So if you've already done the courses, can you still qualify? And the answer is, I have no idea. So uh, that's one of those things I would definitely clarify because if you've already done the courses and you can't qualify, that is definitely unfortunate. So you've guys, basically, it's going to start on October the 13th and end on the November the 3rd. And what you basically have to do is run through a number of courses, Blueprints Essential Concepts, Unreal Editor Fundamentals, Blueprint Kickstart Course, Blueprint Runtime Savings and Loading, and Blueprint and Gameplay for Game Designers. So that is it. And then at the end, you can win some swag. Uh, the rules are available in a number of different languages. So the courses in essence are Blueprint Essential Concepts. Uh, pretty straightforward. It's an hour and 13 minutes long. Uh, so don't do the course, by the way. Wait until the thing starts if you want to get the swag. Again, I don't know if that's a requirement, but I would wait personally. Next up, we have Unreal Editor Fundamentals, Actors, and Blueprints. 29-minute uh, course. We're not talking an extreme amount of time. We're up to about two hours at this point in time. Then we got Blueprint Kickstart. This is probably where the majority of people with any Blueprint exposure would actually want to start this thing. And by the way, I really like development in Blueprints. As far as visual language, Languages go. This one is my favorite. Now we're up to 57 minutes, so we're at about four hours long so far. Uh, add another hour on top for Blueprint Runtime Savings and Loading course. Uh, available here. Again, don't do it yet. And then finally, we get Blueprints and Gameplay for Game Designers, an hour and 40 minutes. So you're talking about six or seven hours of your life. Uh, you finish all of that, you qualify for swag. And of course, the key thing here is you've also, after five or six hours spent here, or six or seven hours spent here, I guess it would be, uh, you should know how to use blueprints, at least the basics of them. And I think you will actually find blueprints are a pretty pleasant way to work. So if you're looking to learn Unreal Engine anyways, this set of courses and this contest or challenge, probably a good approach to it. I, I, you know, you've got really nothing to lose other than I suppose six or seven hours of your time. And if you've never used Unreal Engine before, obviously this is going to introduce more people to Unreal Engine. And Blueprints is the perfect system if you are like a designer, a level designer, want to get your foot wet with doing some level design, but you want to get a little bit more sophisticated, or you're an artist and want to make your portfolio a little bit more complicated or complex, then Blueprints are great for you. And even as a programmer, I like Blueprints. I'd like to be able to speak properly too, but we don't always get what we want, right? Uh, blueprints are, again, my favorite of the visual programming systems. Now that you do pay a penalty, it's uh, two to three times slower than native C++ code, uh, but is it that much easier to write? Well, that is up to you. Now, in terms of the contest here, uh, it is pretty straightforward, but there are a couple things to be aware of. First, you need to be 13 years or older. That's not age discrimination. That's pretty much legal requirements around the world, uh, except as otherwise provided in this section, you have to have a valid epic account participant is an eligible minor 13 uh, between 13 years of age legal age of jurisdiction uh, your parent must consent to it uh, employees uh, and spouses of employees or people that live with employees of epic games cannot join um, 
Challenge is subject to all applicable laws, of course, and there are a few countries that are not allowed to do so. Uh, the Crimean uh, region, uh, Cuba, Iran, Iraq, North Korea, Somalia, Sudan, and Syria. So if you're from any of those countries, I'm sorry. Uh, it's just, it's, it's basically, these are all legal requirements in the United States. So they're not allowed to do business with these particular countries. I, I'm shocked to see Crimea added. I didn't know that was the case. Uh, and then in order to participate, it starts on, uh, so you can sign up between October the 5th and October the 11th. Uh, and then it starts on the 13th, ends on the 3rd. You get badges, blah, 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 blah. So uh, what about the swag? Well, we got some details of the swag. Level 3 reward complete, all of that. You get blah, blah, blah badges. Uh, Blueprint Master badge and one Unreal Engine swag pack. Average retail value of $115 US. So uh, there's some pretty nice swag in this swag pack. I'm really curious to see what it ends up being. I'm guessing at least one of those like, you know, water bottle things that keep your water cold all day long. Those seem to be like the swag of choice these days. Probably some stickers, some t-shirts, you name it. Maybe a mouse pad or so. I, don't, I literally, I have absolutely no idea that is the nature of a mystery box. But I gotta say, $115, $115 USD. That's a pretty sizable amount, especially if you wanted to learn this anyways. Now, one thing to be aware of, there's this one right here. It's probably boiler paint legalese, uh, but they do have the right to um, grant permission for Epic and its designees to use your name, likeness, audio, video, or Epic account for publicity purposes prior to, during, or after the challenge period on Epic's website. So that is definitely a gotcha there if, if you don't want to have it published. Now, I imagine for 99.999999% of people, they're not going to use your picture or they don't have your picture or your name or anything else. But legally, they do have the right to do so. And by the way, this might look scary, but it's a pretty typical thing whenever you're running a contest or, or thing like this. Do be sure to read through the rest of this. Uh, it's definitely worth uh, checking out. The legalese isn't actually that bad for a contest. It's actually pretty short, to be honest. Uh, again, 13 years or older, if you're between 13 and age of majority in your country, you need to have parental concision, uh, decision, uh, blah, consent. Uh, you need to have, uh, you can't be an employee of Epic Games or related to an employee of Epic Games or live with an employee from Epic Games. And otherwise, yeah, pretty straightforward on the whole and your chance to win $115 worth of swag. It's an interesting thing. Again, the courses look uh, reasonably good. We've run through them, you know, kind of got an introduction, uh, using actors and blueprints. Uh, blueprints, again, another introduction. Uh, saving and loading with blueprints. And then finally using gameplay and for game designers. How, you know, basically how to use blueprints to control uh, actions in your games. Things like uh, sprinting, crouching. Uh, a little bit on the UMG editor. That's their visual inter interface. Dealing with sound and so on. So by the end of this about 7 hour course. You should have a good fundamental grasp of blueprints in Unity. And uh, if you're looking to learn anyways, hey, get yourself $115 worth of swag. So that is it, the Blueprint Ninja Challenge. Are you interested? Are you going to sign up? And again, I don't know yet what this means to people that have already completed this. I do, again, recommend if you're going to sign up, you have to sign up uh, within the next week. And then uh, don't start doing the courses, oddly enough, until... Uh, so again... Uh, sign up by October the 11th, but don't start doing the courses until October the 13th. And if you know w what the deal is, if you've already done the courses, let me know in the comments down below. I'm sure people are curious about that because, like I said, in the last uh, Unreal Jam, uh, they had some of these courses available, so it might disqualify some people. Uh... I'd be interested to find that out. So let me know, comments down below, what you think. Are you going to participate? Do you want the swag? And what do you think the swag will be? Uh, that's it. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.